Hi everyone, Tim here from Beta Labs. Beta Labs is developing a decentralized video delivery protocol on a new blockchain. In this video, I'll be showing you the Theta test channel on Sliver TV, which is now live to over 2 million users in over 100 countries. We're excited because this makes Theta protocol one of the few blockchains out there that has real world utility and it's not just a nice theoretical thought exercise. Now having said that, we are in our testing phase where we're collecting feedback from the community and we'll be continually optimizing and improving our technology both on the mesh streaming side and the blockchain side. So I'll walk you through some of the main features of the Sliver TV Theta test channel and hopefully help you get a better understanding of how it all works. When users navigate to the Theta test channel, they simultaneously serve as viewers and relay nodes, where they receive the video stream from a source, which can be from other peers or a server that's hosting the streaming content, and they relay the stream to other peers. Uh, when they relay streams to other peers or viewers, they earn tokens. So in the case of uh, what we have now, we have 1,477 concurrent viewers who are viewing the same stream as me uh, right now at the same time. I'm also grouped into a group of 10 peers, um, and this has been set up so that we're able to relay streams to one another in the most efficient way possible. So there are a number of factors that go into determining who I'm peered with, including optimizing based on network topology or peer uplink and downlink capacity. Another one is peers network stability. So we take all these factors into consideration and more. The lightning icon indicates my uplink and downlink contribution to my group of 10 peers and thus to the network. When I'm sharing my bandwidth with my peer group, I also earn token rewards. Coming down here, the user's traffic composition graph shows in more detail the video data uh, for where I'm pulling my streams from and how much I'm relaying to others. So the red curve indicates traffic that I'm pulling from the content delivery network, which is the current way that video streams are delivered to end viewers. The blue curve and the blue number indicates traffic that I'm pulling from peers. And the green number indicates traffic that I'm serving up to my peers. So right now, you can see that for the current stream, looking at the red and blue numbers, half of my video stream bandwidth is being offloaded by peers. I've received 61 megabytes from peers and 65 megabytes from the CDN. And actually, I'm serving up almost twice the video traffic I received to my peers. And in doing so, I'm earning gamma tokens. What we envision is initially the Theta protocol can help offload CDN bandwidth for end viewers. And this helps cut costs for content platforms. When the Theta protocol becomes dense enough and there are enough nodes participating in our mesh network, we can rely primarily on bandwidth coming from uh, caching nodes and supplement any additional required bandwidth from a traditional CDN. So you may have noticed that I'm actually earning gamma tokens, which are these purple tokens, from relaying streams to others, which is a different currency from theta tokens. How this works is that a theta token continually and perpetually generates gamma tokens. Theta tokens are for securing the network through staking or another type of consensus process and for representation in governance related processes. Well, gamma tokens are the operational tokens for video relaying and other computational transactions like powering smart contracts. So right now, Sliver TV holds theta tokens, which generate gamma. And this gamma is provided to viewers so they're able to reward peers from whom they pull video segments from. By sharing bandwidth, users accrue gamma tokens, which they can eventually spend on the platform for digital goods or premium content or experiences, or just exchange it for fiat currency. In the future, uh, users may also hold their own Theta tokens in their own wallets as well. Users are also able to take a look into the Theta Block Explorer. I can click into that right now. Um, and this uh, lets them ensure that indeed the blockchain has recorded their video relaying contributions and their gamma earnings. Um, so let's take a look into one of the most recent transactions. You can see that this is my account detail um, and my account starts with E0A uh, right here. And you can see that this is my account E0A. I have 0 0.35 gamma and this is a list of all of my most recent transactions. If we go into here, you can see that this is the target address, which is my address, E0A, and the source address starts with A87. And the amount paid was 1150 gamma way. Gamma way is basically a smaller denomination of gamma. So what happened here is I relayed a video stream, E0A vi relayed a video stream to the source 
to the source address A87, and A87 paid an amount of 1150 gamma wei to me at the target address. This is all recorded on a real blockchain, so we can click into the source address and look and see that he has a balance of 20 theta and almost 200 gamma. And uh, this is a list of all of his recent, uh, most recent transactions as well. So the block explorer allows us to take a look into each block and transaction. And I think this really highlights the value of the blockchain. With the blockchain, we're able to record every microtransaction that takes place, where a video segment is relayed and exchanged for a micropayment. And all these transactions are recorded in blocks and fully transparent and visible to others. So I think that about wraps up all the main features of our Theta test channel. Uh, one of the great things about developing the protocol and dApp at the same time is we already have an application that serves as a real-world testbed, and it informs a lot of our blockchain design considerations and technical implementation details. The feedback loop is much tighter and it's much more immediate, and we can easily take our lessons learned and continue iterating on them. So keep following along with our progress, and we'll be sure to share any new developments with you as well. Thanks for watching.